Hello, this is Ron Castle with Sunshine Works. We're going to take a look today at our simple pump installation here at our small farm in Franklin County, Tennessee. It's an absolutely gorgeous November day. What you see hanging on the south facing pump house wall is a 210 watt 12 volt evergreen and uh, to the left is a combiner box with a circuit breaker and a lightning arrester which is taking the feed from the panel through the uh, blockhouse wall into the pump house. We've just stepped into the pump house door. We situated the uh, pump house after the well was drilled to leave the simple pump a couple of feet off of uh, the wall in the corner. I'll tilt down here so you can see the casing. To the uh, left of the simple pump is the feed coming in from the panels and I've used a couple of terminal strips to make the connections to a linear current booster. And the pump is running on straight sunlight at the moment, no battery required. I have just recently installed uh, an 18 watt low voltage LED tube lamp to illuminate the pump house at night. I'm going to turn the light on so that we'll get a better view of uh, the other components in the system. For the uh, lighting system, I took a feed off of the solar panels and I'm charging a little 7 amp sealed brick battery with a small Atkinson battery charger, not really a charge controller because it doesn't have load control. And uh, that provides the illumination. The little battery will run the 18 watt 12 or 24 volt tube lamp for uh, four to five hours without a recharge. I've got my uh, amp probe meter hooked up to the motor feed, the positive feed, and what it is showing is a fluctuation in amps as the pump strokes of anywhere from a low of about 3 amps. Occasionally it will peak up over 14 amps, but typically is peaking up into the mid-13 amp range. The uh, connections from the linear current booster can sometimes be confusing for folks who don't know DC wiring too well. Uh, the panel feed on the lower right, the large black and white wires are connected to the, uh, the positive panel wire, which is white, is connected to the red, red linear current booster wire. The negative is connected to the black linear current booster wire. Returning from the linear current booster, the, the white wire is connected to the pump positive and the blue wire is connected to the pump negative. I also have uh, these jumpers in here for the little charge controller. And then we have run a jumper wire from the lower terminal strip to the upper terminal strip and have wired in a float switch using the uh, signal wire from the uh, linear current booster to turn the pump off when the tank is full. The new simple pump linear bearing link drive also has its own on-off switch. Whoop. The, uh, let me try that one again. The uh, simple pump linear bearing link drive also has its own on-off switch. so that you can turn the pump completely off if you wish. Around here on the back of the simple pump plate, we've got the uh, wiring for a fuse and a terminal for motor connections and the on-off switch, uh, which will all be inside the pump enclosure if, uh, if the enclosure is on the pump. The uh, the uh, linear bearing link drive is a, uh, a much different mechanism than 
the uh, simple pump Scotch yoke drive, which has been the traditional drive since the beginning of uh, motorized simple pumps. The crank arm, which is operating from the motor, is turning uh, the next link, which is called a dog bone because of its shape. And then there is the, uh, the main block, which is lifting and lowering a linear bearing rod, which is connected to the simple pump main rod. My pump is a little bit different than what your pump might be because I am testing for the factory a short connector rod, which you can see the joint going up and down below the uh, uh, below the the uh, pivot block and above the bottom bearing. The alternative would be a 36-inch rod, which replaces the traditional 24-inch rod, so that you have a continuous rod to go through the linear bearing link drive. Uh, and uh, connect to the pump head. The way I have my simple pump plumbed is I have a fixed water line which will eventually be on a union uh, but is not yet to this point so if I have to take the pipe off the pump I have to cut the pipe at this point. It's coming around the wall and the water is flowing into a 550 gallon poly tank. The uh, float switch wire accompanies the pipe just to uh, make it as neat and tidy as we can. The cover for the simple pump is laying there on top of the tank. We intentionally uh, let out about uh, 250 gallons of water this morning so that we would have plenty of pumping time here for the purpose of the video. I've done something else uh, that may be helpful to uh, some I'm using a little terminal switch on the wall here and a uh, single pole, single throw switch to disconnect the uh, signal from the float switch to the simple pump when the tank is full. The reason for doing this is so that if the tank is full, I don't have to fiddle with the float switch in the tank in order to divert the water and, uh, and keep the pump running for other purposes. By uh, overriding the float switch, I can divert water using the valves behind the pump head there to send water to uh, an outside faucet. And uh, I can do that if the uh, simple pump tank is full. I can still run the pump during daylight hours to pump water. Here is the view inside the uh, pump house from left to right. The uh, 550 gallon tank, the uh, simple pump, and all the wiring. I've got my hand lever stored in the corner behind the pump there in case we need it for manual operation. I've taken the pump head off and put it back on the pump twice now. It took me uh, 10 or 12 minutes uh, to do that each side. Our uh, simple pump has been running for almost two years. I would guess that we filled up this 550 gallon tank about once a week. Uh, so that being the, the case, it would be likely that the pump has pumped up to this point probably 35 or 40,000 gallons. Strictly on sunshine, no battery required. If you need help with your simple pump application, please visit www.sunshineworks.com. Contact Ron or Pam or Mark, and uh, we'll be glad to help you. We're one of the top simple pump resellers in the country. We use the product ourselves. We know it. We believe in it. And uh, I think it represents a, a great value, especially for protecting your water security, since you can put simple pump in a well with the pump that you already have and uh, worst comes to worst you can still pump water by hand. If you uh, want to give us a call the phone number is 931-962-8665. We look forward to uh, talking with you and uh, helping you with your simple pump application. Thank you.